welcome to Minecraft. And, well, while I will be playing Minecraft, the focus of this, uh, I don't know, episode, this video will... The focus of this video really won't be, uh, well, won't be the gameplay quite as much. The title of this video is probably like um, Mad Experiments or something like that. Because, well, for one, this is the first time I'm recording with my computer after it, well, after it fucked up and then I tried to deal with that and it fucked it up even more and, oh, good God. Just painful all around. And, oh, shut up. So yeah, this is kind of a test of, yeah, does this even still work? Because if not, well, fuck. But this isn't just an experiment of if my computer even still works. It also is a test of, well, it will be a test of if I can use my video editing program. Because, yeah, the program I always used, I can no longer use. So that's fun. And, well, when I'm testing everything at the moment, I'm also no longer recording uh, my voice with the same program as I'm used, I used to record to... That was a door being close. I'm sorry about that. But I also now use uh, Audacity to record my voice, but still use Shadowplay to record the gameplay. And, well... This will mean that I can edit how loud these are individually. Which is great, because, well, then if it turns out that I'm way too silent or way too loud, I can change that, because that has been a problem in the past at times. And should somebody play in the background for me, I can... Well, then I can just cut my audio out without having to cut the game uh, sounds completely off. Which means less completely... No. Awkward pauses or gaps in the audio will no longer be completely empty. It will no longer be... Oh yeah, every sound is gone. Which is kind of jarring. And yeah, I'm just kind of walking around my house. Oh, and if you want to know where this is, this is on the... Uh, yeah, it's on the Gophers Minion server. I don't exactly know what the name is. But yeah, that's the server. And that's my home. Uh, no, that's not my home, that's... That's the tower for that. My home is up there. When I came here, it was completely empty, by the way. Or, well, it's, no, not completely empty, but very empty. And now, well, wherever you go, there is somebody building. Or, well, no, not really building. People aren't really building around here anymore. Pretty, everybody is pretty much done with building. But... Yeah, everywhere you go, amazing stuff is built. But yeah, on the uh, point of audio, yeah, it would, it gives me a lot more control, something that I really wanted for a long time. This is such an awesome building. And this is the road to the crossroads, which 
I'm not going to go to because, well, for one, I have nothing to do there, really. And two, it kills frame rate. I mean, I'm already getting a pretty low frame rate around here. I should have probably turned off the frame rate counter of uh, Minecraft, but oh well. But yeah, the crossroad is just deadly. Just, hey, you like one frame a second? Well, too bad. But I'll spend most of this video around my castle. Oh, good God. Yeah, so hopefully you won't hear doors slamming all over the place. Because I can now cut that out. Hopefully. And if you can hear it, then I am was probably way too lazy or I suck at this. Which is both possible. And yes, I'm going to the nether because we'll... Thank you for my frame right back. But yeah, this server has a great uh, transport system. A nice slipstream uh, here. Which is such a fast way of traveling that it completely, uh, well that's way too fast for the game to handle most of the time. And yeah, if, well I can quickly uh, show off spawn. So yeah, should you ever enter this server and not know of it yet, you'll spawn here. Oh, there's no cake. Hmm, well, that's too bad. Yeah, normally there's very often cake around here. Wow, the frame rate is not doing happy. I don't know if it's because of recording, because normally it's not this bad. For some reason it's really struggling at the moment. But should you be familiar with the server, and should you ever want to visit my castle, well, it's really simple. Just take the north path and go to the end of it, and there's my castle. And, well, on the matter of audio, I wanted to do this, uh, I wanted to basically record them on separate channels for quite some time. The reason I never did it was because, well, I feared I wouldn't be able to really sync them up properly. And, yeah, that's my castle. There are some really awesome buildings around here, and my castle is really simple, it's 90% of it is just a ton of uh, stone bricks, but I really like it. I also like it for well, having the extra kind of stuff. And even having a nice little drop gate. And yes, I'm in the middle of... Well, this originally was a stone road, I think. Yeah, as you can tell, I still have the same great memory. But I'm trying to turn it into one of these paths. And we'll... For that, I kind of have to wait until it turns into grass, which takes bloody forever. But on the matter of audio, 
I think... Well, I think I'll be able to sync it up better for one, because I'm no longer using Windows Movie Maker, because, well... I wanted to try something else for a long time already, but now I kind of have to, because I can't get uh, Windows Movie Maker anymore. So it's kind of his, well, I wanted to innovate in this way, but I, I have to now. Why are there chickens inside of my castle? And as usual, I com am completely losing my train of thought. Great. Oh yeah, on the matter of uh, syncing them up properly. Well, I think that with the new uh, video editing uh, thing, of which I completely forgot the name, as usual, me and names, we don't get along. But hopefully with that, keeping them synced up properly should be easier. What's also another pro of having uh, the things, the, my voice and the game separate is I edit the audio for my voice a bit, so well, it's less constantly buzzing because while I do like my mic, it's a good mic, it's not perfect, and well, I don't even know if the buzzing is even from the uh, microphone, or if it's because, well, I am recording a computer, and surprisingly, the computer has a fan in it. And that fan is not 100% silent, so... I remove that noise from it, but the problem with that is, well, it kind of does lower the quality of the audio. Extremely little, but, well, it might be noticeable, and yeah, I'd like to just not have that. So for that, uh, recording on different uh, things is also very nice. And, well, at the moment I have no idea how well this is going to go. Also, the way I am using to hopefully sync uh, the audios up properly, that, I mean, for something like Minecraft, it really doesn't matter if I say, uh, oh, look, I don't know, iron, at the exact second that I see it. I mean, if I say it a second later, Really, it wouldn't matter. But... Lovely. In a more active game, in, I don't know... Well, really any really active game, any game that isn't Minecraft or something slow like that. Then when I comment on something too late or too early, it's really noticeable. So, yeah, that would be a problem. Which was, all, yeah, that was also the reason why... Well, I had this way of recording in my head for a long time, because, well, it's an obvious way of doing it. I mean, I record my voice with uh, Audacity all the time anyway for uh, just a ton of videos, well, including my Skyrim vs Fallout videos and, well, really anything that's just, that's not directly over gameplay. All of that I record with Audacity. So, recording other voice stuff also with Audacity, I mean, it made sense. The one flaw with it is, well, I never really knew how I would sync them up. I do like what I uh, 
I do like my little amounts of redstone stuff. I mean, I know it's not complicated. But it looks very nice and... Well, kind of serves its function, but... For the most part, it looks nice. It gives the illusion of a castle. And yeah, there's also a drop gate here. And there's also a drop gate here. I prefer this one. Because, well... Well, I can show how it works. In this one, it actually has pistons, uh, sticky pistons, that push a block forward. And when I flick this switch, they go inwards. So now those are in here. Those uh, behind these four, there are just the normal blocks. Oh. And of course, I get flint back. And if you're looking to run words, if you are wondering what uh, texture pack I'm using, I'm using Chroma Hills, which I like for pretty much everything except for uh, the gravel. Not because the gravel looks bad or something, but well, it doesn't really work for the uh, drop gates I'm using it for. I forgot to close it. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Alright, here we go again. And if you're thinking, wow, that is that uh, staircase is really claustrophobic, well, that's kind of the thing I, thing I was going So that's kind of annoying, but no well. And yeah, I've been in a in a fair number of castles, and yeah, those hallways are they are small. I didn't shoot. I really make need to mix. Good God, I'm stumbling over words so hard. I really need to make sure I don't fall off here because I'll die. And that's surprisingly something I don't like all that much. But yeah, I've been in a fair number of number of castles and well Many of the well at least the stairs, they are not spacious. Hell it would almost be realistic if it wasn't uh, half blocks everywhere but full blocks. Because those stairs really have a big difference in them very often. And that's a big difference now. Back then people were shorter, so it were even bigger steps. I mean, it makes sense. The goal of it is, of course, to... Well, defend against people who are attacking, and... Most of the time people who are attacking are will be coming up the stairs. And if you're going upstairs, well then big steps make it really difficult. It also matters, uh, well that's also the reason why they all wind the same way. Because that way you can't fight, uh, if you're coming up, you can't properly fight. Or at least you can fight less properly than that you can uh, when going down. Yeah, I really like castles, I love how they're just, I just love how they're designed and everything. And yes, this is just a stupidly long road. I have no idea why I'm making this road there either. It's not going anywhere, there's not really anybody... I mean, there's nobody in the area as well. I mean, there's some uh, houses near the castle, but... Past the castle? There's really nothing. So yeah, this is just all space, just for me. I do kind of like that. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of working on this uh, beach gap. 
<laughs> because, well, this is a, well, this will also be a uh, another tower. I like myself some towers. I do need to close that off, but it looks kind of ugly. But yeah, this is just a road that goes kind of nowhere. I mean, we've moved pretty far away and if I'm not mistaken, we are moving towards spawn, so that could be nice if I uh, link my road up to some roads around there, but so far this is really just going nowhere. Oh, yeah, I haven't put uh, stairs there. So yeah, that's really is just. I by far don't have enough uh, claim space for all of this, but. Yeah, that was just kind of a tour through everything I have at the moment. Oh, I don't need that flash. I knew I had other things I wanted to talk about. Oh, good god, my memory! Or lack thereof, really. Oh, yeah. How often will my uh, words, good god. How often will Minecraft be featured on my channel? Um, I don't quite know. Probably not a lot most of the time, but. The next coming couple days, maybe a fair few times. You see, I kind of unfucked my computer. I mean, it seems like it's working now perfectly, but the problem with it is, or no, not what it might be, the problem with what it is, is it's a complete reinstall of everything. I have no programs, which is also the reason that I don't have Windows Movie Maker anymore. No programs also means no games. And, well, I didn't want to re-download everything. Because that would be a huge pain in the ass. And you might think, oh, re-downloading a lot of games from Steam, that's not that big of a problem. You think I also... Well, I have also have a few games downloaded from other places, but I have completely forgotten exactly what games those are and where I got them. But the even bigger problem is, what about all the mods? I only have more than 100 for Skyrim and, I don't know, around 70 for Fallout? I don't quite remember. But a huge number of them, and I would not be happy if I needed to re-download everything of that. The idea alone of having to re-download... Uh... God, what's it called? Interesting NPCs for Skyrim. That's kind of a horrific idea. For everybody who has that mod... Well, everybody who has that mod knows what I'm talking about. That file takes forever. And also mods like Immersive Armors. Oh, good god. Yeah, I hope you don't need your computer for a couple days. So, instead of just throwing it all out and having to re-download everything, I put my entire games folder, because I have all my games installed on a in a different folder. Oh yeah, I moved that work station. Right. But I move that game, uh, I move my game folder, well, I copied it to an external hard disk. The same hard disk that I used to copy all my other files to, and that I made a backup of. No, not a backup of, that I made a backup. That I made a backup on. Good god, I'm stumbling on, over my words so bad, it's horrible. 
yeah, if you can watch this, you're a better man than I am. Because, oh good god, I have to literally watch all this when editing it. Joy. But, I have been copying that file for the last two days, and I'm just over 50%. So, probably at least the next coming two days, it will be spent also, well, copying that. That's Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday I'll have finally have my games back, hopefully. But then the problem is, well, when do I record it? Because my big recording days are Monday and Tuesday, and Thursday most of the time. Meaning that at least Monday, yeah, Monday today, that is, Tuesday and Wednesday, it will probably be Minecraft as that is the only game that I currently have working. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft at the moment. After that, hopefully we can finally return to the old program, but I don't know if I can promise that. And yeah, tomorrow's video will probably be mostly me talking about the, um, the problems I had with my computer, which were numerous. Yeah, I have... Um, well, quite a bit happened, there are quite a bit of things to tell, but if you want an explanation on exactly what was wrong or how I fixed it, yeah, don't come to me, I have no idea. It didn't work, I did a lot of stuff, it worked even less, I did even more stuff, it still didn't work, and then suddenly when I repeated the same thing, yes, I didn't do something different, just I did the same thing again, and then it worked. You have no idea how infuriating that is. But I can notice that I'm not quite in the, um, I don't know, video game, video making uh, groove, because I forgot to open up my clock. And I used to keep track of how long I have been going. So right now, I have no idea how long I've been going. If I've been going for a quarter of an hour, three quarters of an hour, or anything in between, I don't know. So, I'm going to cut it here. If you watch this, then hopefully I explained well enough for the audio thing stuff. And if not, well, sorry. And if you didn't make it over here, well, I probably can't really blame you, but I don't know, I don't have a butt, well, I don't know, I really don't. I'm also a bit tired, I've only had six hours of sleep tonight, so, yeah, Joy, um, hopefully see you tomorrow, I guess. For some reason I feel like I should close this off somehow, but I don't have a good way of closing it off. I mean, I have the this bin of Nick saying farewell, but... Well, that's not something that really fits with this kind of video, so... I guess I'm just going to say bye guys, and wonder who I stole that line from. I mean, I don't... I know it's not really somebody's uh, line, but... Well... I don't know. It's not somebody's line, but I know there are a couple of YouTubers who always end up uh, with a line like that, and I'm not one of those YouTubers. Yeah, I have no idea. At the moment, I barely have an idea of what I'm doing, so, um, yeah. Just guess see you in the next one.